Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we will learn how to create a table foreign key in a MySQL database. So I have a database which is blog and then I have two tables in this database. The first one is posts and the second one is users. If I open my users table, I have four users right now, uh, but I have only two columns, is the ID and the name. All right, in my posts table, I have four columns, ID, user ID, title, and content. And I have eight posts. So the title and the content is the same for all of them, for all these posts, except the user ID. Uh, the ID is auto incrementing, so this is something that um, the database is taking care of. Now the user ID is changing because we have the user ID is the, is the ID from our users table. So if you look right now at this data, we see that each user has published two posts each. So we have the user ID 1 published two posts, the user uh, with ID 2 published two posts, and so on. So let's go ahead and create a foreign key for this table. So let's click on structure and then relation view. And then here, I don't know, let's, it's not required, but we can just put test for now. And then let's check the, let's choose the column, user ID, database blog, table, users, and the column ID. The action, let's, let's choose restrict for now. And then uh, I will go through each and I will explain how it works. I will show how it works. All right, let's click save. And now if we go back to the structure, we can see here on the post structure, we can see that there's another key. And if you hover over it, it says uh, index. Um, if we click browser, and if we click on users table, and let's say we want to delete brand user. Click delete, confirm, and we get an error because it's saying that cannot delete or update a parent, uh, parent role. A foreign foreign key constraints fails. So that means that there is a foreign key. Uh, that means that this user has some other data in other tables. Now, if we go to the posts table, we see that all these IDs became like links. So if we hover over the ID, the user ID, we get the name, which is John, John, and then Victor, Victor, uh, Joe, and Brent. All right, so this is the this is the first action of this foreign key. Now, if we go to the structure uh, relation B and change the action to let's say cascade and click save. Now, if I go back to users and as I, but if we see on the posts, we have uh, each user has two posts right now, right? So if I'm going back to users and I delete brand, right, it's going to let me delete it. But when I go back to the post table, all those two, I mean, all the, the posts published by brand are also being removed. So right now we've got only six posts. All right, so that's the second action. And then let's see, relation view, no action is the same as restrict. And then we have set null. I will set null for on delete and on update. You can choose uh, on delete an action and then for update another action. I mean, it, it, I'm just showing you how that works. Uh, that's a really simple example. All right, so I set them to null. Now, if I go back to posts, just make sure we have all these posts here and then on the users, Joe has two, uh, two posts. So if I delete Joe, if I go back to posts, we see the user ID becomes null because we removed the user and the posts are still staying here, but the user ID is being removed. So it's, it's, it's empty now. This, um, this column doesn't have any value for this entry. So that's it guys for, uh, for this method. There's another method to uh, create a uh, foreign key. So for example, if I'm going to the relation view and I'm gonna remove this one from here, so like that. So if I click on the database now and then more designer, 
here I have these two tables and actually from the let's make them like this and actually from the left side just choose uh, create a relationship all right and then click on the user ID and then uh, the user ID from users and then the user ID from posts and create a relationship okay and there you go so we created another that's this is another method on how to create uh, foreign keys between your tables in a database all right guys if you have any questions feel free to leave in the comments if you like the video please thumbs up like this video subscribe for my channel and i'll see you in another tutorial